Our first boondocking experience was a great place, but an equipment failure. Now with new batteries, we love it. It's 4.30 on Sunday morning, and this is our first boondocking trip at the Harvest Host here in Palm Coast, Florida. We're at a beautiful golf course. All went well checking in. Everybody was very nice. We woke up early. Um, we've had some trouble with our batteries, our house batteries, and um, we slept for about six hours, woke up, and all the batteries were dead. Um, Joe had a brilliant idea of using the car to jump the batteries, which we did. Then once we did that, we were able to start the generator and turn off the coach, so now the batteries are charging and everything's working inside. But we're up making coffee this early. One more thing. Our Battleborn batteries are on their way to our house now. So we hope to never have this problem again with our batteries. After that trip, we replaced the crappy coach batteries with new Battleborn replacements and are very happy we did. I've taken the two old batteries out. Pretty easy. We will see what Battleborn means when they say drop in replacement because should work. Hoping it's going to work. We ordered the batteries direct from Battleborn and we're very happy with their sales and shipping service. Well, I've got the batteries in. I mean, drop in replacement is true, but of course they're a bit different size than my batteries, so the cables were moved around a little bit, but everything works. Everything's tight. I feel comfortable that they're going to be fine. I had to cut the straps off, my old battery straps. So I'm going to use some insulated wire to tie around them so that they just stay in. This is just going to be a month or two. We're at a Harvest Host, a nice golf club in, well, just north of Richmond, Virginia. Spent the night and, I mean, it rained all night, but we we're underneath these trees. It wasn't too hot. Kept the windows that we could open. And... Thanks to our two new Battleborn batteries drop in replaced at the moment, we had no problem at all with power. Using my voltmeter to monitor the batteries, we're using about a half a volt overnight and recharging that from our alternator while driving. We only turned the generator on for making coffee. We used all the 12 volt services we needed. Well, we're harvest hosting in Portsmouth, New Hampshire at this big brewery really nice I mean they got a couple big spaces here for RVers we're the only ones here tonight so should be pretty good it wouldn't be an RVing with the maracas video without some wildlife pictures not sure what that last one is so it looks like people have made little sculptures along the rocks here. Without Harvest Hosts, we would never have visited this Portsmouth, New Hampshire rock sculpture beach, which was awesome in the foggy morning. We're walking out to the ocean. Joe's going through um, the rocks carefully. This is our first night at a Cabela's. Parking lot, really nice. Huge parking lot. A little bit of road noise, but that didn't bother us a bit. After installing our Battleborn batteries, we now love boondocking at the great locations we found using Harvest Hosts. We're just finishing this long trip to New Hampshire and be back on our schedule next weekend. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to follow our adventures.